obviously coming off this point of loss at Florida, our, our transition defense is going to have to be on point. We're going to have to rebound better against Georgia. Georgia's uh, 15th in the country in offensive rebounding. They're going to blow the ball up the court in transition. 13th in uh, pace and, and second in the country in tra transition conversion rate. So transition defense and um, being able to rebound are going to be two, uh, two critical er uh, areas for us. We didn't do a great job rebounding uh, at Florida, giving up 40, 46% offensive rebounding rate to them. So we're going to have to certainly, uh, certainly improve there. Fire away, Sheldon. We'll have everybody available, but Sharif. Okay, you beat me to it. No, I'm just kidding. I was um, making sure Glenn had, didn't beat you to it. You said um, last night you had some spirited discussion with your team yesterday. Uh, did that carry over today? And can you expound on that a little bit? Yeah, we, we just talked about the difference between being a good team and a great team, how to respond the right way, and that we need to, um, you know, we need to clean up some things if we if we we got to do some. You know some um, some dirty work things if if we want to be the the, the team that um, we're capable of being. Hey, well, um, yeah, just doing some quick research on Georgia. It looks like you know they're pretty happy to put their hands on deep, and I think they're tied to the lead in steals in the conference. Just kind of talk about just some of the mismatches they might present on defense and how you guys can exploit that a little bit better. Well, it, it starts with Wheeler. He's their, he's their engine uh, on offense and defense, gets the ball in the paint. And he's, one of those guard, he's one of those rare guards that can just swipe the ball from you. You turn your back on him, he's just going to swipe the ball. Um, five Kerr does a good job, and, and uh, uh, Fagan is, is, is active defensively as well. Their big guys are active. Um, Garcia uh, from Stony Brook, he has a uh, really good block rate defensively, good steal rate for a big guy defensively. So all their guys are active. They fly around. They play extremely hard. They play extremely fast. Um, they do a great job of using their defense to create offense. So that will be a big point of emphasis for us is, is making sure we value the ball. And, um, you know, they'll play mostly man. They'll, they, they, they've, played, they've played quite a bit of 2-3 zone as well. I'd say it's 70-30 man to 2-3 zone. But uh, it'll be the first time we've seen 2-3 zone in, uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, tomorrow. Um, they lost Edwards, who was a top pick in the draft, and yet they have these six balance scores now. How much have they changed? Yeah. Well, they've got. I mean, they got good players. They went and got some older guys, um, you know. And then and Fagan's grown up in the program. Wheeler's now uh, a, a sophomore. Um, Kerr's a transfer from Mason, and, and was a very very prolific player. In the uh, in the Atlantic Ten, Garcia was second team all uh, all league at, at Stony Brook uh, in the America um, in the America East, and so you know they've added some they've added some some good players. Kamara's grown up in the program and done well. P.J. Horn's a, a, a grad transfer from Virginia Tech uh, who's had success, particularly shooting the ball, and so they've got an older uh, veteran uh, veteran team, and they've mixed it with some of the. Some of the um, you know some, some newcomers. They've signed two junior college kids who are both top 15 rated junior college players uh, in the country. McMillan's going to be a good post player. He's actually from New Orleans. Uh, we went to Kilgore and watched him play a couple times ourselves. And so he's he's a three-year JUCO kid. Um, he'll have three years to play for Georgia, meaning. Um, and so he's a he's a good he, he's a good player down there. And um, you know Christian Brown was a was a borderline five-star recruit, four or five-star recruit. Um, who we're very familiar with, and so they they got him. So I mean, they've got they've got uh, a lot of good pieces, a lot of interchangeable pieces, and and they play fast and they play in space. They're the best cutting team we've played so far. I'm really worried about that defensively, is them just back cutting us and and us getting lost uh, with our switches and stuff on the cutting. Thanks. Anyone have anything else? Well, it's so simple. Oh, Glenn had to ruin it. I guess I'll do one oh, Cobble's got a question? You gotta be kidding me. All right, Glenn, what do you got? Uh, from the barbershop, I something. I don't know. Uh, I guess you know, it's about your guard rotation off the bench. You know, teams like Eric and Charles and Galen are kind of solidifying that unit for you guys. But I mean, just you, you are you looking to see, I guess, a little bit more, I guess, scoring production from that? I don't know. 
Well, Gaines, Gaines has the best defensive leverage on the team. So points per possession wise, we're better with Gaines on the court. And he's going to play, he played more at Florida and he's going to play even more as we move forward. He's, he's, he's part of, um, he's a major part of our answer for this year and he's going to be a huge part of our future. And so uh, he is, uh, he's for sure, um, you know, part of that guard rotation. I wish we'd have gotten Cook in earlier at, at, at Florida. We tried to put him in late to heat the ball up. I wish we'd have gotten him in, him in earlier. But uh, Gaines is a, is a huge, huge part. There's nobody that when he's on the court that makes more of an impact on our team defensively than Gaines. And so, and he's a, and like you said, Glenn, you guys haven't seen it and hopefully it comes tomorrow. It's going, it's coming, but he is a talented, talented, talented offensive player. It just, he's been a little bit skittish. It's probably, you know, it, it's tough on him. He's used to being, he's used to having some of the the freedom and free reign that Javante and those guys have. And, you know, when you're, when you're in the position he's in, you got, but with his minutes going up and, and his, his, his responsibilities increasing, I think that's going to help him offensively as well, just to kind of have that. He's one of those guys, he's just got to have a little bit of artistic and creativity, you know, just that freedom to do that sort of thing. And, and he's, um, he'll, he'll, he'll be able to, uh, he'll be able to do that. So we are, Excited about him, and he you're going to see more of him. You had uh, mentioned the, the um, getting dirty aspect of the team. Is that, is that more of a toughness thing that, that they got to get their hands dirty, or is that more of a fight? It's not necessarily as it's, it's mental as much as physical. You just have to, we got to be able to, to process things and, and, and do what we, you know, and, and the physical part, we, we, we do have some physical players. We've just got to mentally lock in and be able to have a consistency of focus that we haven't had. If you look, you know, even both the games we've lost, we've, we've been ready to play. We started off well at St. Louis and we started off well at Florida. We've had a lull in the middle and we've played well at the end. We, I mean, six minute game, you guys know we talk about that all the time. We won 18 to 12 at Florida in a six minute game. We're just down 10 when it started. So it's uh, just one of those deals where we've, we've got to have We've got to have a little bit more consistency, a little bit more focus, um, you know, beginning, middle, and end. And that's mental uh, toughness more than physical toughness. Although some physical toughness would help on the rebounding. You mentioned physical toughness. Can Josh Gray help you? I mean, we, we've seen a limited amount of him. Is he a, a physical player, and can he help you against Georgia rebounding? He's a physical player, and he can help us, and he will help us, and I should have put him in at Florida and he will play some as we move forward here. I'm not saying he's going to play in every game, but in situational um, times, he's going, to, he's going to play some. He could have helped us. I should have put him in to just get down there and be physical with 12. I've got to trust him, and, and uh, he, he's working hard, and, and he, he's given us no reason not to trust him. He's, just, he's going to be a wild card when he's out there, but I like that. He's going to make something happen. For us or them, something is happening. I can guarantee you something's going to happen. Thanks. But he, he's going he's, he's gonna to play some. I mean, it does us no good to have him seven-footer sitting over while we're just getting annihilated inside. But, um, you know, when you play him, you've got to change up your ball screen coverage. You've got to change up your offense. There's some other factors that go into that. And so, um, but we're going we're gonna to clean that stuff up so we can, we can give him some run. I'm not talking we're going to play him 20 minutes a game now. I'm talking spot minutes in situational basketball. But he's huge and he's physical. No one got anything else? No, I haven't no. shaved, Cabo. I'll shave tomorrow for the game. Cabo, wait. Not all of us can go to the barber and... and, and, and not all of us go to the barber shop in the middle of the day and get, and get, get all... You know, we, we don't have time to do all that. The I've been at work since I've been at I've been at the I've been over here since 5:30 this morning. We don't we all don't have time to 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 to. Well, not anyway, though, to wait, you're in a bar now? Did you go from the barber shop to a bar? He's getting a pedicure later. That's, <laughs> that's, that's where work. Shock is. That's my, that's my yeah, Jack is. Golly. All right. Good luck. Good luck, Billy. Sorry to hear about your grandfather, buddy. I hope you're doing all right. 
Thanks so much. We'll get back back to work this week. I appreciate Good it. Are you in Florida or are you here? Florida. Still in Florida. Worse places to be than the uh, than the Gulf Coast of Florida, but it's 80 degrees on news day. Can't can't beat that. But sorry to hear about that. Seemed like a great man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, all right. Anything else? Or are we done with this rodeo? Say yes. Done. We'll see everybody tomorrow.